Well, it's 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday morning, but I've got a lot to do today, so I'd better get on it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And uh, this morning I'm just up early. I get up early every single morning, but uh, I'm up early. I've got a lot to get done today. Uh, I've got to do some harvesting in the garden, get some of that stuff preserved, canned up. Uh, my granddaughter's birthday is today, so I've got a birthday party to go to this afternoon. And then uh, my other side job, which is not really much of a side job, more of a hobby, is I've got a real estate video to shoot this evening with my drone. So I've got to get a lot of things done. I better get on it. All right, so once I get the uh, rabbits watered, I'm going to have to water the quail too. I kind of like to do that early in the morning. Um, you know, once the sun comes up, heats up the hose, it gets super hot in there, and you can wash that out, but that's a whole lot of water wasted. So if I'm up early and they need water, um, I like to do it. I'll tell you, if you haven't invested in an automatic watering system, this is the way to go. Uh, this bucket, five gallon bucket, will water all these rabbits, and there's, uh, I don't know, two breeders and nine babies right now, and um, it'll keep them watered for, oh, about a week. At least three or four days. No kink hose likes to kink up. Make sure it's still got water. I got a kink in it somewhere. I bought a no kink hose, oh, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Uh, just because when I drag it out there, you know, so it doesn't kink up. And I swear it kinks worse than any hose I've ever owned. And it always seems to kink up right here at the faucet. So I got to walk all the way back to the faucet to unkink it. Max, we're going to the quail, buddy. Come on. Okay, wait. Yes. Tell you what, if you don't have some of these quick connect hose fittings, they are the way to go. So much easier hooking a hose up than trying to screw it together every time. All right, that's full. It's important that uh, I don't leave this ho hose hooked up to my bucket because the the hose part itself is on the ground, so it's lower than that there. It will siphon out my entire bucket, so i got to unplug it. All right, well, quail are watered for a week, so uh, let's go get picking. These green beans up here are just about done. These were the first ones I planted. Got a couple harvests off of them so far, but uh, there's still a few beans on them. A lot. Some of those can grow out a little bit more.
I don't know how I missed that one the last time, but that always happens. You get one that just gets great big. It's starting to turn a little bit yellow here at the ends. That means it's probably going to be a little bit bitter. We might be able to scavenge some of it out for, uh, for fresh eating, though. All right. Just got done harvesting the okra. I want to show you something here real quick. Okra is... Um, one of those crops where when it gets this big it's it's really no good this is kind of a too big of a plant you really want them more like uh more like these more like this size but it gets away from you quick so i haven't picked in a couple of days and i've got several of them on the vines that are like this now what i'll do is i'll leave a couple of them on there um, i've got three plants here that are doing pretty good uh, that had great big okra about this big or maybe even a little bit bigger and i just leave them on the plant and I'll let them go fully ripe, and then that'll be my seed for next year. So, uh, you know, I've just picked out two or three. You don't need more than just two or three. Uh, two or three plants that had nice big okras on them, leave them on there, let them go until they dry up, and then uh, you can just pull them off, and you've got nice okra seeds for next year. This one here, it's going to go to the compost pile because it's going to be too woody and stemmy to uh, want to eat. Well, here's my harvest for today. I got... Well, I don't know, three quarters of a bucket full, actually more than a bucket full, but I had to put some of them in this uh, milk crate. So this is my cucumbers, my okra, pretty decent little harvest of them. I got some tomatoes, some corn, a zucchini, and some banana peppers in here. And uh, not a bad little harvest, enough to can up a couple of cans of tomato, maybe make a jar or two of salsa, probably just one jar of salsa. Um, let's see, okra, I've got enough okra and uh, cucumbers to do several jars of pickles and get those preserved for the winter. So. Not a bad little harvest for a morning. Um, you know, I tend to get up really early. I just get up early for work, and uh, probably because I'm older. Now <laughs> I go to bed early, I get up early. But you know, uh, one nice thing about waking up early on the weekend is I can get all these outdoor chores done before it gets hot. I'm just barely breaking a sweat. And I've been working out here for 45 minutes or so at least, an hour maybe. And uh, if I were to wait till uh, you know the sun came up midday, or even evening um, as the sun's starting to go down, um, you're, you're just going to be dripping sweat here. I mean, the humidity is the uh, mid to upper 80s. Uh, the temperature is supposed to be like 95 degrees today, so it's going to be feel like 101. There's not a cloud in the sky. There's no shade. It's going to be miserable out here working. Get up early. Get your early morning. Get your outside chores done, and uh, it's so much more pleasant than working in the heat of the day. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. God bless.